and share. Um, and we are just so excited to, um, and now some of our ninth graders is coming forward to share her testimony, and that is Miss Katie Drake. I bow your heads with me. Uh, dear God, I pray that you give Katie strength and courage as she shares her testimony this morning. I pray that you speak through her to influence and impact everyone in this room. And I thank you for her, her story, her perseverance, and her willingness to help people on paths, paths similar to hers. In your heavenly name we pray. Amen. 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 My name is Katie Drake. I'm a freshman at Grayson High School. Um, I've gone to this church my whole life. Um, a lot of you probably don't know me, but um, um, I'm here today to tell you my story. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I didn't choose to be up here. Um, <laughs> but God just really laid this on my heart in math class, fancy enough. But um, I just really felt like I needed to come up here. and. Um, I felt God calling me, and if I seem nervous, I am. So, um, um, my story begins, I was about six years old. Um, I was in my room, and um, I decided I wanted to follow Christ, but I had no idea what that meant at all. And to me, following Christ was saying that I believed in God, even though I didn't know who that was or what that meant. Um, I went to my mom and she prayed over me in the bathtub um, and we asked God into my heart and um, I didn't pay attention to anything with church after that. I just kind of thought when you ask God into your heart, your life's going to be perfect and everything's going to be fine. Um, and that was my mindset when I was about seven years old. Um, 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 years, like every other month, someone else died. Um, I lost my great-grandma, um, both my grandpas and one of my grandmas, and three animals I had had my whole life. Um, and it sucked, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and I definitely, you would think if you're going through like hard times, you would go to God, but I didn't. I just cried a lot, um, and I didn't, I went to church every week. I didn't talk to anyone there, um, no one talked to me, so I was like, okay, I'm just not going to talk to anyone. Um, and my life just kind of went downhill. Um, I never thought what I could do to help people. I was always just like, what was me, <laughs> like self pity type stuff. Um, and I was in my deepest of deeps, I don't know if that's a thing, but um, I just, it was bad, and I got into a pit, and um, I feel like everyone has their own pit. Mine was crying, thinking that God had dropped me off on the side of the highway and drove away looking for better people. Um, and I learned in that time that, like, whatever you're going through, <laughs> like, it could be anything. It could be, like, temptation. It could be anything. As much as you feel like God has dropped you off on the side of the highway and kept driving, he's not. And um, um, and I didn't focus on God. And I just want to be the first person to tell you, no matter what you're going through, if you feel like you're so far gone, and you feel like you've done everything bad in the book, you don't care about God anymore, everything is going downhill, because that's how I was. I wasn't like doing bad things, I was just giving up on God. But um, as much as you think that, if God's still waiting for you, <laughs> like he's still there. It's like the painting, I don't know if y'all have seen it, where God's like waiting at the door and there's not a door handle on the outside. There's a door handle on the inside. And I had to, be brave enough to open up that door and let God in. Um, and I'm not saying after you open the door everything's going to be easy, because it's not. Um, I went uphill after everybody was dying, and then um, 
it went like a straight down. Um, my mom had a breast cancer scare. They thought she had breast cancer. And um, to me, cancer means death. It's not a disease to me, it means death. Um, so I was afraid I was gonna lose my mom. And I was thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't have my mom here. <laughs> um, and um, that, I got the pit again, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I've developed severe anxiety. I have panic attacks all the time. I'm trying to fight one off. I can't tell right now, that's why my hand is like trembling. <laughs> trying not to drop this microphone. But um, I just, if there's one thing that you take away from this, I just want everyone out there to know, even if you think you've done everything bad in the book and God is like, I don't want you anymore because I was there. I, it's, and um, a verse, actually I was having a panic attack and God was like, hey, Matthew 4, 9, and I read it and I totally blanked up here and I don't remember the exact words. But um, it says, um, paraphrased, it says, submit yourself to me and I will give you everything. That's not word for word, but, and I read that and I actually got mad at God. I was like, why are you telling me another stereotypical Bible verse that's saying if I give myself to you, then you'll give everything to me because I can't give you myself right now. I'm at such a low point, I can't give myself to you. I'm not worthy enough. And then I realized that was Satan talking. It wasn't God talking, it was Satan talking. And um, he was saying, like, if I put it in my context, and you can take it however you or whatever you're going through, if I would have given myself to Satan, not like worshiping, but just like giving in to the sadness, not trying, like, this pity type stuff, like, that's not. <laughs> If I would have done that, then Satan might have given me like new phone, like new friends. But like, you have to, if you want to get better in your life, and if you want to get to God, the best thing you can do is to trust Him. Because I still struggle with that. Um, coming up here was a big trust issue for me. Um, like, I have trust issues with God, which isn't good. But I mean, yeah. But um. You just have to trust him because if I would have given in to my doubt when I was going through that time where everybody was just like leaving me, I'm like, why me? If I would have given in to that, I don't know where I'd be right now, but I probably wouldn't be here. Um, like the time that I was having panic attacks and just told myself I'd rather not wake up in the morning because this sucks. Um, but if I would have given in to that, then I probably wouldn't be up here talking. <laughs> um, so you just. I just want everyone to know that no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. And I've gone through my life. I didn't come to youth a lot because I thought no one likes me here. Um, you have to look past that because a lot of times it's in your head. Because I told myself I'm not going to come to church a lot because everyone hates me here because no one talks to me. Turns out I'm just kind of shy and like I don't talk to people. So just. You have to know, I've learned in like the day that we've been here, so many people are just like me, and I've made so many new friends in like less than 24 hours, and like I've never been like this in my life, and I just think if you feel God's calling you to do something in your life, you need to do it, because it's not fun if you don't, and I would be the first one. <laughs> so, I don't know what this is. <laughs>